Good morning. It is Tuesday, July 7th, 7715. No vlog yesterday because I was very busy. I worked until almost 7 and then I made dinner, which was a delicious stir fry. Um, oh, let me show you. I, I did take a picture. So we've opted to forgo animal protein this week. Monday through Friday. So yesterday I made a veggie stir fry over rice and I had some rice left over. <clears throat> Excuse me. I had some rice left over so I'm having that for breakfast. I just heated it up in the microwave and I made this in my um, rice cooker. Oh and I did get a new pan yesterday. I got three new pans. Um, all from Ming Tsai from HSN. I'm constantly on um, in or I have been on a search for a reliable non-stick that's not Teflon coated. So I've tried the um, so Wistoffs. I don't remember. We've tried so many different kind of green pans. All have been uh, have turned out to be a disappointment. They're non-stick for a certain amount of time and then start to stick again. So I'm trying this particular brand, and I'll show it to you when I go in the kitchen because I have to go clean up. I kind of left everything on the counter. Well, I put the food away, but I have to clean up this morning. So I got a wok, a 13-inch wok with a lid. So that's why I made the stir-fry in. And I also got the square pan in, um, not a griddle. It's a, I don't remember what it's called. It's got the wavy things inside, so when you're searing something, it leaves the marks. Um, so it's you know great for like burgers and um, chicken skewers and things like that. So we're gonna try it out. Um, I did read all of the. I always do. I always read the recommendations, what to use, what not to use. I seasoned my wok last night before using it for the first time. So I washed it with warm soapy water, dried it thoroughly, let it heat up um, on medium low for 30 seconds, turned it off. Added a tablespoon of um, vegetable oil, not olive oil. It says not to use extra virgin olive oil in those pans. And then used a paper towel to rub over the entire inner in, inside surface. And then I used it for cooking. Nothing stuck. It was great. Um, Polly was kind of late coming home from work, so I probably should have not started the stir fry until he called that he was on his way because that would have given me ample of time for it to be nice and crispy when he got home. He really enjoyed it, so I guess it's, you know. I was a little disappointed because it sat around for a little <laughs> longer than I had hoped for. But that's okay. That's one of the one of the trade-offs about Polly's job. He never really knows when he gets home. So today I used some of the rice that was left over from yesterday. Um, and neither one of us finished our portion, so I have that left over for our lunch as well. But I don't know what possessed me, but I was in the mood for rice this morning for breakfast, so that's what I'm, I'm having. It has half a pat of butter, just a little bit of butter, and a tablespoon of shredded mozzarella, which I added after it and warmed up, and a teaspoon of garlic pepper, and the last splash of lime ponzu that I had left in the, in, in the glass jar, or in the glass bottle from last night's meal, because I used uh, ponzu, light teriyaki, that fabulous fermented soy and um, garlic pepper as a seasoning so and black sesame for a top so I'm going to enjoy my breakfast and then I have a bunch of things to do for work I'm hoping today is going to be a little less stressful and that's why I was able to pick up the camera this morning because I've already gotten a whole bunch of things done the girls have been open the garden has been watered and I do have to pot plant those things. The poor things were knocked over this morning. The pots are sitting on, on the rail of one of the raised beds. So maybe lunchtime I'll actually go out there and do that. So yeah, I'll check in with you guys hopefully throughout the day. So we're running some errands. Look, you could see the rain coming out of the clouds. It's approaching us. It's so right there, ominous. Right there, right there. Holy, it's, yeah. It's like a funnel. Yeah. We rain, need, we, rain, come today. We need you, please. Yeah, because that just means stay. we don't need to water the garden. But 
it just got really really dark and obviously you could see the clouds and the bird poop on my window on my windshield well that will wash it away yes i was would. telling a person about the the um, jumper j, j, uh, jumper cable joke Oh. I forgot totally what it was. I said, oh, I forget. She, oh, and you messed it goes, up. Are you kidding me? I wanted to hear the rest of it. I said, I'll, I'll let you know oh, when. Oh, you could look at Hartford. It's completely covered by torrential downpour. Yeah. Wow. That's Hartford. Those yeah. big buildings. They're right there. It, it looks like stick figures. It does, but, ooh, creepy, creeping along. So we're going to, yeah, we're going to, we, we tried to stop, My favorite store, we went to, tree. Pauline needed to run an errand, and I said, well, if you can wait until I'm done working, I can come with you, which he did, and I he went, like he's good like that, he went to run an errand, he had an early day tonight, and he went to run the errand, dropped me off at the Dollar Tree first, and I had a couple of things that I, I wanted to pick up. Um, three of the five things that or purchase, I... Or purchased, you probably don't pick them up. Well, no, I pay for them. I don't shoplift them. Oh, Got a few things... <laughs> I'm kidding. Totally kidding. OMG. What happened to the gas station? I think it burned down. <gasps> oh oh my gosh. Wow. Um, anyway... Um, That's why we talk a lot, don't we? Yes, we do. But... You guys enjoy it, so we just keep on doing it. If you, if you, you don't know what? Enjoy it, then we won't we'll tell you. We'll I tell you what. Times. I tell you what. We do this whether you guys are here or not. <laughs> so <laughs> it just so happens I turn the camera on. So we stopped, and I needed to get a. Knee, I wanted to get another knee brace for Polly, but they didn't have any on the no shelf knee here. Braces? No, oh. nothing. That's why I wanted to go to this one. But this one also has a freezer section to their store. Yeah, so I'm gonna cool. check out to see. Potatoes. But oh. yeah, those those fingerling potatoes the best. are the bomb. A First of all, how much are they? They're a dollar. Wow. <laughs> oh, and there's a five below. And um, Hooters. We love Hooters. No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. Really Nothing Boston against anybody Market. who chooses to. Boston Market's got pretty good. Yeah, but Tallywhackers. Oh my God, where did that open? In Dallas. You're going the wrong way. Oh, is it over there? Yeah, it's over in the other. Oh, it's yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. You're right. It's all right. I can, uh, I can get there from here. I can get here from there. Okay. Um, in the um, Asian restaurant we used to go to, the gone. sushi place is gone. Careful car. Yeah. Big lots. Pretty typical how my evenings go. I started to edit, then I realized, you know what? I didn't edit my um, Dollar Tree haul video, so I need to do that. And hopefully, while it's rendering, if I get this time properly, let me just do a new project. I will be able to have it render while I'm in the bathtub and finish that up and I feel like my evenings never end, so I did laundry, bought everything up. I had to put stuff away from the Dollar Tree haul. I didn't even remember to take a picture. So I think I'm gonna call it a night. That's gonna be it for me for today. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I'll include a link to the Dollar Tree haul if you're interested in checking out what I picked up. It's a lot of stuff, a lot of um, food and a lot of freezer food. I think all of it might be all the vegetarian because we're doing all veggie meals this week monday through friday so i'm gonna try it out see how it makes us feel i feel better when i don't eat meat but polly is a different story i have to tread lately so he's willingly given up red meat for the week so we'll see no worries he's still getting nutritional meals it's just not with animal protein as much as I can help it. Once he's out of the house, I don't know what he's eating. Hopefully, the snacks I pack into his cooler. So that's gonna be it for us for tonight. Thank you so much for stopping by and keeping us company. We'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching, everyone.